all passed away within six months of each other. Wow. So that was quite a quite a slap in the face. Um, between having all that stress, I had health issues arise, you know, uh, and that's exactly what the doctor said it was, stress from the child, my own child, my family dying, you know, everything just built up. An old injury, I guess, uh, came about. A disc came out in my back and shattered. And shards of bone, the fragment from the disc, were lodged in my nerve root. So I now walk with a limp, and I'm limited to what I can do, and I can't lift anymore. And Anyway, it was the best thing that ever could happen to me. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. No. Well, that same day, I have a lot of problem health-wise with lymphedema from the mastectomy. We found a lady that would come to the house and do drainage. So she was helping me that same day that that disc was out. And she's going, this is much more than, you know, this is not your lymphedema thing going on and all that. So she was a, a very wise, godly woman. And... She said, Jill, you need to go to the hospital. I don't need to be doing this to you. And the Lord brought her to me because I broke down and I told this woman my whole story of everything. And she, and I really, I never thought I was worthy of his love. You know, I didn't, I had a low self-esteem. I guess when your mom dies, when you're real young, things just, things just change. There wasn't a nurturing at that point. You know, um. I was a brat up to that point. And when you get older, you appreciate your parents and you want to, you know, to be their friend or whatever, you know, and share things. And there wasn't anybody to do that with, you know. So, uh, well, I'm just making justifying that, I guess. (laughs) I told her everything that was going on and she convinced me that the Lord loved me. And and, uh, that day, I just, something happened in me. The Lord just... It was like I was catapulted. That's all I can explain it. From from here to all the way over to here in my journey. The, it was just amazing. It's like I, he just let me fly thousands of miles in one day. It was, I just, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, my life changed that day. I'm now, uh, I recorded a Christian album. Um, I have five other rock and roll albums, which they're great too. But, you know, uh Everything's different. Everything's different. I just, um, I'm so grateful for life. Every morning, I'm in the habit of, when I open my eyes, just thanking him for that, you know? And when you become aware of everything that he does, there's so much bad in the world, but yet you can always find good. If you just look, it's there. It's all there, even if it's down to... A silly little good parking space or something mm-hmm. like that when you're thanking and awareness and it's just it's just amazing to me he has blessed me with a healthy son and a wonderful husband and my oldest daughter's doing a lot better now and she's gotten married and he's just led me to all kinds of wonderful things to help um, my son and I perform twice a month at a local assisted living facility and a memory care unit we, we sing everything from sing-alongs, you know, like Michael, Michael Row Your Boat to uh, yeah. God Bless America and, and things that they can relate with, and their memory comes right back. It's, it's so wonderful to see them sing along, you know. Some, every now and again, we get a sleeper or two, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. You lull them to sleep. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. They're there, you know. Um, my husband and I got baptized a few years back, and uh, it's just it just continues to get better and better. You know, we volunteer a lot. Um, I do devotions there every Thursday morning at the assisted living also. And uh, with all that, God gave me the most unbelievable peace, the calm over my life that it's just, no matter how bad it, you know, the stresses of the days get, it just all, it keels, it even keel. It's just, it's just amazing. You know, I can come right back to it. Where before I would hang on to something for days, you know, or even weeks. But yep. this is a matter of moments now. You know, it's just, it's just amazing. And I'm involved with uh, Unforsaken Ministry. I'm in their worship team. They're building the community for the single moms, and uh, they here in the area mm-hmm. with kids. And the support group is for moms, and also they train men for the you know for a boys program for to be godly men. 
and uh, they're training mentor families to come alongside the moms to see how they, you know, to get them through the restoration. Nice. Yeah, it's really neat. So uh, I've just learned to look for God in all things, in all places, big and small, and I thank him for every moment of my life. And <laughs> It's not hard to find it. No, it really isn't. You just need to look. A lot of people don't, you know. I, I did that for years, too, the why me's and the pity parties and getting mad and all that stuff. But uh, I just, I never give up, and it's never too late to change your life. Mm. Never. And I don't believe in coincidences. No, there it's is no planned. such thing. No. 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 It's all planned. And look for the good because it is there. Keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. And be kind. That's all. Amen. Wow. Of course, the musician in me is screaming to ask you, uh, what was your favorite rock genre? What did you, uh, what okay. was your sound, I guess? Um, combination between Van, Van Halen and Pink Floyd. Wow. Well, as far as I'm concerned, the 80s and uh, the 70s and 80s music was probably the best ever made. Mm, I agree, but. You know, you wouldn't get a kid to tell you that today. <laughs> yeah. They just keep repeating our our music. Well, yeah, they mix They're, it into their yes. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Isn't that funny how they do that? Well, we asked this question, and it, it was a couple a couple of different areas listening to your testimony. What would you say was the major two by four upside the head for you? I guess when when I came around after this the back surgery and. I was on my deathbed. I was I was septic at that point. Mm. The nerve root was so swollen it blocked everything off, and it takes a a big two by four. Mm. <laughs> Obviously, I'm one that's hard headed, and uh, it was that that because I've never been like I am now. You know, I just mm-hmm. I honestly can't stand anybody that says a bad word or I mean I just can't. <laughs> Life is so different. I can't explain it. Is. it. I, I can't. You know I. I, can, I know what you're talking about, and negativity just drives me crazy. Yep. And I was probably the one of the most negative persons you would ever want to know. And my my exes would probably tell you the same thing. You yep. were very negative. Yep. Not anymore. Yeah, me either. Boy, I'll tell you, isn't it amazing to look back? It's like looking at somebody else's life. I'm almost embarrassed of it, but Aww. that's that's made me who I am today. I think. Right. You know. You're in good company, Jill. You're at the Hardhead Palace right here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that's a good name for a next song. <laughs> there you go. The Hardhead House or something like that. And it's all taken us pretty big two by fours. Yep. Oh yeah. Well, the Lord never changes. But we wouldn't we wouldn't change it. I wouldn't. No. Nope. No. Nope. He's the constant and that's what I I've learned to Amen. To be a constant. That's key. It's important. Still got a long way to go. Still human, but <laughs> yeah, I, I can't Jill wait for. Blessed me with a copy of of one of her CDs, and and you're going to hear the song uh, "Bigger Than Life" is what we'll be playing this session out with. So you can get more information on at JillTowers.com. Is that right, Jill? Yes. We're the we're the king of the shameless plug here on God. So Stories go right Radio. ahead. Yeah, JillTowers.com, and I also play in a band. My daughter plays with me, and. Uh, we try to do mainly like restaurant things, and uh, we still play rock and roll, but we do like 50s all the way through today. And um, we do a lot of private parties and things. And my eight year old son plays the bongos when we play at a really, you know, a place <laughs> that's good for him to be at. And um, you get to pick and choose at this age. It's really awesome that I can, I'm not playing smoky bars anymore. You know, I'm actually getting paid better to play in a restaurant that is on a beautiful lake, you know, or something like that. So it's it's really neat. And uh, the name of the band is Anita Drink, like a lady's name, Anita. <laughs> Anita Drink. Anita Drink, yep. That's fantastic. Yep. Yep, pretty cool. Playing with your kids. Really? And that's the oldest daughter? No, that's my youngest daughter and my son. My oldest daughter lives in Jacksonville now. She's married. Okay. Yep. Session 67. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks for having me. Jill, thank you so much thank for you. coming. Not everybody says yes. You know, we really, really appreciate you coming. And as we always say, someone or someone's out there needed to hear what you had to say. And now we're in 41 countries. And we just appreciate all the listeners out there and, and the people that support us and push the button and 
we just greatly appreciate you. So, well, thank uh, you. Yes, and uh, check us out at GodStoriesRadio.com, www before that, and uh, Twitter, at Facebook, at not Twitter, at Twitter. Help me. Spit it out. You can tweet us. Check us out on Twitter, at God Stories Radio. You, Trish. You're welcome. It's been a long week. <laughs> I bet. No sleep. Good yeah. gravy. Yeah. So, all right. Well, that wraps, wraps it up. <laughs> about wraps it up for session 67. I'm Fritz. I'm Mike. And I'm Trish. God bless. God bless. something in life I hope that it opens our eyes it's bigger than life bigger than life it's true you'd be surprised at what a smile can do for the one who is walking toward you yeah it's big than life bigger than life it's true prepare yourself if it's just begun or if your battle's just been won it's bigger than life bigger than life it's true to it.